Hi everyone and welcome to my next video tutorial which is going to be focused on inspecting and running Django commands in a GUI which is known as a text-based user interface. So if I can show you a simple example here this is known as Django TUI where you can go ahead and utilize a text-based user interface to learn more about the commands that Django offers by default and to also go ahead and utilize a unique way and form of perspective when initializing Django based commands. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. So the first thing that you need to do is make sure that you have a basic Django project up and running. So as you can see, I have a simple project. I have just gone ahead and created it. Now, if I were to just restart my server, just give it a moment. You can see I haven't even made my default migration. So this is literally just a simple Django project up and running. So make sure you have a project that you want to work with or a project that you already have that you want to utilize. So just make sure you've got that set. Great. So next what you can do is you can install the Django TUI package. So I'm going to copy this and stop my server for the moment. And I'm going to say pip install Django TUI. Okay, so it's going to take quite a moment to install all of the sub packages that come along with Django TUI. So all we need to do is we just need to be patient until the process has been completed and all the sub packages along with it have also been installed. So as you can see, there are quite a lot that need to be installed. So let's just wait for that to be completed. All right, perfect. So we can see everything was installed. So we can type CLS if you're on Windows or clear if you're on Mac. So we just want to clear our terminal and we've got that set up. Okay, so let's scroll down and we want to see the rest of the steps. So we've installed the package. Next, we need to add Django to underscore TUI to our list of installed apps. So we can copy the following, go to our project, settings.py file, navigate to your list of installed apps and you want to paste in Django underscore TUI. Now, all we need to do is we need to head on to our terminal and we can run python manage.py tui. So I'm going to copy the following, head on to my terminal, make sure you're in your virtual environment like normal, and you want to run python manage.py tui and press enter. Okay, and there we go. So as you can see now, we have this nice text-based looking um, user interface here and we can min maximize, minimize as we desire. And we can see all of the default Django commands are here and we can see we can create a super user. We can click on it here. We can scroll down and you can see we can go ahead and enter in all of the relevant information such as uh, the username for our user. We can set up an email email here for this super user and we can also add in all of the various peripherals so i want to show you how you can run your server in this console so here on the left hand side if you scroll to the bottom you'll see that under the static files um, heading there is run server so you can click on run server okay so this command is going to be instantiated in your console so python manage.py run server then what you can do is you can go ahead and press Control and R or you can click here on your console. So I just want to say Control and R and I'm going to click it. Then it's automatically going to go ahead and say running Python manage.py run server via the Django text user, um, user interface. And as you can see here, our Django application is running based on that instantiation. So now if I head on to my Django application, and refresh, we can see it's being ran through Django TUI. Perfect. So now I'm going to stop the server. And I'm going to run Python manage.py TUI. And you saw earlier that I had a few migrations that I needed to migrate. So here on the left hand side, I'm going to scroll down. Okay. And I want to migrate all these default migrations. So I'm going to click on migrate. Okay, so the command has been entered, python manage.py migrate, and I'm going to press Control and R, and it's going to run that command via TUI, and it's going to make all of those migrations, and they've all been done. So now if I press Enter, once you see this uh, blinker, 
you can press enter on your keyboard and there we go so if we were to clear the terminal and just normally run the following which is python manage.py run server you can see that that migration was made successfully by utilizing django 2y let's uh, look a little bit further so let's run python manage.py gui and let's see what else we can do okay so on the left let's see we can do various things here so we can start an app so let's say we want to create an app so we can say start app we can click here okay and we can see we have various arguments so we can add in a name a directory we can add in various options such as extensions we can alter the template we can also exclude our text suppress it and you can see there's a lot of help options here that give you information on these various commands which makes it such a valuable tool so we can see the command at the moment is on python manage.py start app because as you click here on the command it's going to automatically pre-fill it for you so you don't need to type it in so i'm going to set the name here and i'm going to call this crm and automatically it's going to add in the app name here to the how can i say it to the console to the terminal here for you and all you need to do now is press ctrl and r and that command is going to be run python manage.py start app crm so if i press ctrl and r it automatically goes ahead and runs that command for us and it has already created an app so if we head on to our application we can now see that we have a crm app that's been created let's try this again so we can run python manage.py tui. Okay, here on the left, let's scroll down. Start app. Give it a name. So this is required. Call it links. And of course, we can say control and R, or I can actually do that on my keyboard. So if I say control R, it automatically goes ahead and creates that particular um, app for me. And if I head on back, I can now see I have another app links. So of course you just need to add these apps to your settings.py file. So you'd need to add in CRM and links as well. So just keep that in mind. So let's head on back by some manage.py to UI. Okay. So we can see we've got various other options that we can go ahead and set up. But that's just the tip of the iceberg here when it comes to this package. As you can see, there are several things that you can go ahead and set up as you so desire, such as changing a password. You can, of course, create your super user and you can see, of course, what you would need to set up and into place. So here, for example, for create super user, we can see we would, we would need to add in the username, of course, an email as well, which we can also go ahead and set up accordingly and all of those details. So if we were to create a super user, I'll add in a username and I'm going to say, right, so the username I'm going to set as John. So as you can see, automatically the command is being appended here as we enter in the check. So we can see it's adding in the dash dash username flag with the value that we have added. We can scroll down now. And what we want to do is we just want to ensure that we have no input here set. And if you scroll down, you can just now enter in an email. So I'm just going to say test at mail.com. And I'm just going to go ahead and ensure that's been output here. And there we go. That command has been output. Now all we need to do is press control and R and that will go ahead and create that super user for us. And there you have it. All right, so that's it, guys. I just wanted to give you a bit of a brief overview over the Django TUI package. So as you can see, this is a very useful library if you want to experiment with a text-based approach instead of constantly typing in commands. You can kind of automate the approach in such a particular way. I will be sure to go ahead and attach a link to this particular package where you can read more there's also a video down here like a demonstration which you can download that's going to give you some more information on what you can do and 
how the basic demonstration is ran but definitely experiment with all the commands here have a look read a little bit more i mean django just grows and grows and of course there's a lot to learn as time goes on but that's it guys for this video and as always thank you for the support and i'll see you next time see you